In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a birdhouse using SketchUp. Now, if you get onto Google Images, you can look up lots of different ideas for how your birdhouse could look. Um, we're going to keep it fairly simple today. I think something like this one here. I'll see if I can open it up a little bit bigger. Something like this one here um, will probably do us a bit of a rough one. I'm actually looking at it, but that design is something that we will go for. Alrighty. So let's get started on making this one today um, by heading over to SketchUp and just deleting the man in the middle of the page. I'm going to start with our rectangle tool today and start to draw the base of the birdhouse. So I'm just going to swing around here and I'm just going to click and drag out a square actually that's going to be 200 mil by 200 mil, so 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Not an overly large size here. This will be more for smaller birds. Uh, let's roll with that. Um, now we're going to grab our push pull tool and raise it up about um, 15 mil. So type in 15 and press enter. So it's a 15 mil piece of timber. Um, when you're done there, just grab your selection tool there, triple click on it, and then right click and make it a component. And I'm just going to call that base. And click create. Alright, so that's looking good. The next thing we're going to do is create the back wall uh, for our birdhouse. So a slightly different design for this one. So grab your rectangle tool again. And we're going to make a 200 by 200 square again. So just the same shape as what we've done. But this time we're going to put a 45 degree angle a roof shape on top of this one. So you'll need your protractor tool for that. So in your extended toolbox, grab your protractor. Click on the top left corner and just click up vertically from it there and then rotate your uh, mouse around until you get to 45 degrees. Okay, you can either type it into this box down here or you can just move it around. It pretty much snaps into 45 degrees, I think, anyway. Okay, so there's a 45 degree angle and I want you to do the same for the opposite corner. So go to the right corner, click once, drag up and click again. And then you can drag that line to the left to 45 degrees. Okay, now you've got a nice intersection where you can draw in the roof of a house. So grab your line tool, start in that corner, go up to the intersection there, and then come back down to the other corner. Easy. Okay, grab your eraser, get rid of those construction lines, and get rid of this line in the middle here so that becomes one big shape. Okay, we're going to grab our push-pull tool and we're going to raise it up 15 mil like I did with the previous piece. And we're going to rotate this now so it's standing up. So grab your um, rotate tool here. And I'm going to grab the red protractor. I'll just click once in the corner, once to the left, and then, whoops, I need to select it all first. So, sorry, grab your black arrow here, your select tool, triple click on it, make sure it's all selected, then try and rotate it. Okay, so click on that left corner, click out from it, and then just pull it up 90 degrees. Okay, that looks good. Now I want this to slip onto the back face here, so I'm going to grab my move tool, and I'm going to grab this front corner here and make it match up with that corner just there. Okay, now once you've got that in position, it's going to be looking something like that. Okay, now I'm going to, oh, well, it's selected actually. If it's not selected, just triple click on it and make that a component as well. And you can just call it the back. Okay, excellent. Next thing we'll do now is put in the sides of the birdhouse. Again, they're going to be a little bit of a different shape. Um, so I'm going to zoom back a bit here and make another rectangular shape here. This time it's going to be 215 by 200. Okay, so a little bit longer. Um, now, once we've got this into play, we're going to raise it up 15 mil. Okay, now which side is the longer side? I need to work this out actually, because we want the longer side running down the side here. Okay, we've got to cater for this extra 15 mil on the back wall. Let's still come up and meet with the edge of this face here. So I'll grab my tape measure and see which side is the long one. Looks like that is there. So actually got it around the wrong way so we're going to have to rotate this um, so let's grab our rotation tool first of all we'll go, we'll go the red protractor and stand it up first of all so to triple click on it to select it all 
grab one of the corners. Actually, it looks like I'm going around this way first. So I'll come around 90 degrees. And then I'm going to flip it up basically on its side. So I'll need the red protractor, uh, green protractor actually for this one. There we go. 90 degrees as well. Okay, so we should be able to grab the move tool now and just move that over onto this face right here. Now, once we've got that into position, should be looking something like that now. We are going to have a roof on this. Okay, now the roof is going to be at this 45 degree angle. So when we bring it down here, we have a bit of an issue where this side wall flattens out a bit. So we're going to need to put a bit of a 45 um, degree bevel into the top of this side wall. Okay, so here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to grab my line, actually I'll grab my protractor tool first. And we're going to come up with a 45 degree angle that goes from this end point here and comes down 45 degrees like so okay now with that there i grab my line tool I click click and then bring it around the front face go straight across the front face if it lets you uh, didn't let me then let me try that one more time there we go and then connect it back up to the top so from that point up to the top corner there and that's our 45 degree bevel. So what we can do is grab our push-pull tool, grab one end and just push it straight out and it will disappear. So we've now made a bevel that will allow our roof to run straight down over the top of that side wall. Okay, that looks good. And we just need to repeat that for the other side. Okay, so if I triple click on this, one, two, three, I wonder if I can do a copy and paste. Well, actually, I'll try it. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And I'm just going to need to rotate it around using the rotate tool. So I'll use the blue protractor and rotate it around. Should be 180 degrees by coming around. There we go. And I can move that into position now as well. So I'll grab this bottom corner and make that snap onto that bottom corner right there. You beauty. So we've got side walls done and the back done. So I want to triple click one two three on this side wall make it a component i'll just call it side one do the same for the other side triple click right click on it to make it a component and we'll make it side two okay so that just leaves us with the front section to go okay Alrighty, so with this um, front board that we need to put on what i'm going to do is actually double click on my um, rear board here and that will allow me to edit this component. I'm going to triple click on it. And that should select it all. Yep, it has. And I'm going to press Control C to copy. And then double click out of it into the green area somewhere. Now I'm going to press Control V to paste. Okay, now I want to drag this to the front here. And it needs to connect with this bottom corner just here. Like so. Okay, that way it's at the same height as the rear board. And that looks really good. Okay, it's pretty neat. So I'm not going to make this front board a component just yet because what I want to do is put a hole um, through the middle of it here to allow the birds to go in and out. So before I do make it a component, let's just chop a hole into it. So I'm going to grab my tape measure tool to find the middle of this piece. Actually, I might try this another way. I'm going to hover my mouse around the middle of this bottom line and it will show us where the midpoint is and I'm going to go to that bottom line actually and click up now I'm not going to drop my mouse here if I go right to the top we can see that this roof is 300 mil in size so halfway it's going to be 150 which is right there so I'm going to drop my line at 150 mil okay now I should be able to find the midpoint here yep there it is I'll just draw that in quickly so I know where the midpoint is and uh, we'll see how high here, yeah, 150 mil up is pretty good. That's about halfway up. So let's put in a hole here. Um, you need the circle tool for this. So click and drag out a circle. Make the hole, oh, let's say about 30 mil, I reckon, in size. Don't want it too big. Any little birds to come in and we don't want their predators to chase them in as well. So that looks pretty good. Um, I'll grab my eraser to erase those guides and I'm now I'm going to use the push pull tool to just push that circle until it disappears 
Yeah, that looks like it's worked. So I've got a hole in there now. Perfect. So I'll be able to triple click on this front face with the select tool. One, two, three. Right click on it and make it a component. We'll just call it front. Click create. All right, so we've got the side walls and front and back walls looking pretty good. We need to get a roof onto this now. So I'm going to start by grabbing the rectangle tool. Starting in that corner, I'm going to drag down to this bottom corner here. When I try to put a rectangle in, it's not drawing on the right face. So I'm going to have to press a couple of times on my arrow keys there to get it right. And I'm going to raise that up using the push-pull tool, 15 mil. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I want to get a bit of an overhang here, so I'm going to use push-pull to bring it out, say 20 mil. And I want a bit of an overhang at the front too, so I'll bring that out 20 mil. And that looks pretty good. Um, if you want, stick one at the back as well. It's up to you if you want to do that. So I might stick a 20 mil overhang at the back as well. All right, now we just need to repeat that on the other side. So this time we're going to start at the top there. Sorry, there's bumping buttons there. So with your rectangle tool, um, I might try and start from this corner. Let's see if it works for us. Okay, it's definitely going on the wrong plane there. That's coming out abnormally large, but there we go. I might just go to there for now. Sort of do that front overhang and the side overhang, but we've got a bit of a back overhang, which is good. Now I'm going to grab my push-pull tool like before. Just pull it up 15 mil, and we're getting a bit of an issue here where it's not pull, connecting to the roof properly, but that's okay, we'll fix that in a minute. Okay, 15 mil up, we'll pull out the front 15 mil. Pull out this side here. 15 mil or 20 mil that I pulled the other ones in. It was 20 mil actually. Yeah, it was. So I better pull these out another five just so they match up. Okay. And the back looks good. Now this front bit here, it's kind of up to you how you do it. I'm just going to erase a line there. You just need to use the push-pull tool to pull one of the sides up. So that'll be going up another 15 mil. Bang. There we go, so that looks pretty good. Our roof would be connected pretty well there. Um, got the overhang, 20 mil overhang on every side. So that's our bird box looking pretty good. One thing you could add in if you wanted to, apparently it's not recommended to have them on bird boxes, but we're going to do it for good measure. And that's just a bit of a um, ledge down the bottom here. So you'll need to grab your select tool and double click on that base um, and grab your push-pull tool now and just pull it out. Oh, I might go 50 mil. That'll give a little ledge for birds to stand on. Apparently it's unnatural um, and probably shouldn't have it on there for birds, but I'll do it anyway. might even look better if I push pull it out um, to the very edge. So I'll just pull that out another 15 mil on each side. We'll see how that looks. There we go. Not too bad. Okay, so there's our bird box. What we'll do now is just color it in. Actually, if I've got everything as components, the roof isn't a component yet, so I'll just triple click on the roof and make it a component by right clicking and just giving it the name roof. And I'll show you why that's handy in just a sec. Uh, now in my materials panel, I'm just going to go across and select the wood option. And I'm going to choose a lighter colored wood for the bottom section. You might want to have a look inside if it's not done, but it looks pretty good. Now, now for the roof, I'll just go with a slightly darker color, like so. If I wanted to look inside the bird box, okay, I could always go up to my outliner here and hide the roof. And that way I can look inside to make sure everything is um, colored in, which it is. I can turn the roof back on there now. And... You've got a completed bird box. Now I'm just wondering, I don't think it'll let me, if I try and delete some of these lines, I think I'll just remove walls and things like that. I just wanted to try and simplify things a bit, but I don't think it's going to let me. No. Nah. So let's leave it as is. Okay, so that is your bird box design. If you want to um, just put a nice finishing touch on it, you could bring in a little picture of a bird from the 3D warehouse. So if you go to the warehouse and just search for bird, 
you'll see stacks of different birds come up. Just remember you don't want it too big. Um, the one I like the looks of is this little blue one here. So let's download it. And it comes out pretty big. If I zoom back here, you'll see what I mean. So we need to grab that scale tool and um, do the best we can to scale it down. Yeah, it's a long way away from there, so I'm going to have to move it across. Oops. Still a long way away. Let's see if I can bring it a bit closer here. Okay, now still kind of big, I think, this bird. Just me, this is a bit of a pain to get it right. I might try and... Here we go, now we're cooking, so I'll make him a bit smaller now. Remember he's just a little bird. Might give him a bit of a rotate as well. Let's see if I can move him onto that little ledge there. There we go, that looks pretty good. Probably not sitting on there perfectly, so if you want to be a perfectionist, just move it back a little bit. There we go. I'm going to press enter. Lock that in. All right, so we've got a little bird sitting on our birdhouse. Uh, that is all I'm going to show you for this tutorial. Well, I think that looks pretty good. So well done if you got this far.